All right, welcome guys. This is Matt Rivers and uh, shooting a very quick, actually this is not going to be a quick video. This is a tutorial on uh, setting up your Google Voice number with MCA um, so that you can have a Google Voice number, which is free. I'll show you how to actually get a free Google Voice number with an area code that's in your area uh, that you could use. And then you can actually uh, forward all those Google Voice calls to your cell phone. So this allows you to have a phone number on your business cards, your flyers, your websites without actually having to post your actual uh, cell number on there like I did. Um, but I've since taken my actual phone number off my website simply because it was getting too overwhelming and I was just getting too many calls. But I'm just going to show you how to see how to get a Google Voice number. What you want to do is um, and then I'm also going to show you how to actually put a widget on your website so that people just click the phone icon and they can call you direct. And those calls can actually come directly to you where you can pick it up or you could just have uh, it go to your voicemail or forward it to you. So it's, it's really up to you. So what you want to do is go to voice.google.com. OK, sorry about that. And it's going to take you to this particular page. Actually, it's not going to take you to this page. I might, it's actually logging me in because I have an account already. But what happens is it's going to give you an option of asking you, do you want to create a Google Voice number? You say yes, and then you uh, choose what carrier you have and all this stuff. You put in an actual phone number that you want to uh, use. And it gives you an option of actually choosing a phone number um, when you just follow the tutorials that they have. You know, they're, they're just, just tutorials uh, on the screen. And you just follow them to get a Google Voice number, and you'll get this list of all these different numbers you know you just put in the area code that you're interested in and then you can just select one that's really easy to remember um, that's kind of how I did mine as you can see mine is a uh, 904-242-6868 but um, you know so that's how you can do it and once you get your phone number you're gonna have a back office like this now again this is free um, the, the benefit of having a Google Voice number, again, is, not, is so that you don't have your home phone number plastered all over the internet for the world to see or your cell phone, especially if you don't want to receive as many calls as, as I do. But I didn't mind for a moment, but now it's to a point where I just you know, physically can't do it. So now I just swapped everything out with my Google Voice number, which I already had. So um, it, even though I have a credit down here of $10, I, that $10 was put on there like back in may or april this year and i haven't even touched it so that's for long distance calls if i make an outbound calls and kind of thing but it's free so um what you want to do is once you're in your back office you can actually click um this little wrench over here or gear and go to settings okay and once you have in your settings page you're going to set up um your your cell phone so your actual cell phone number will go here um, and I have an iPhone, so obviously that's what I'm using. And I selected these two options here, receive text messages on this phone and notify me when I get voicemails via text. Now, this does transcribe your voicemails for you. However, it's not the best transcriber, even though it's a great service. But, you know, they may, they mix your name, you know, names and words up. So it, it, sometimes the text doesn't even make sense. So that's why it's good to, you know, call these folks back. And that's the purpose of this in, in, in the first place. So you set up your account. You decide on what number you want to use. You just choose one, you know. Um, I have more multiple Google Voice numbers. This is just one of them that I use. And now I'm just going to be using this uh, through my websites and my average, you know, my materials, you know, so my marketing materials, that's what you'll see instead of my actual cell phone number. Um, I just have to change. So um, going over to voicemail and text, this is the area where you can actually record your greeting. OK, you can actually title it the way you want to. And I just changed this today because I actually had some uh, an old voicemail still listed on mine. But uh, I'll let you hear mine if you can. Let me see. Hi, this is Matt Rivers, and I want to thank you for your interest in Motor Pub of America. Well, I can Under hear it. I don't know if you can hear it. I would actually so. be picking up my phone and talking to you right now. But and you can record your name. I'll play that. Matt Rivers. Okay. So you can actually make these recordings. Um, you can actually have it call you. Like, for example, if you click record now, you can actually put in whatever phone you use so that it calls your phone and you can leave, you know, you can talk through your phone and leave your recordings instead of just talking into your laptop or computer. Okay, if you have if you don't have a microphone. 
Um, voicemail notifications. I also want to be notified when I get voicemails. You just put in whatever email you want to put in there. Okay. Text forwarding. Um, I actually haven't done this. I'm just trying to test things out. And you create a PIN, obviously. So when you call in from whatever phone you're using, you have to enter your PIN so you can get to your messages and transcribe voicemails. It always transcribes voicemails, but again, it doesn't do a very good job at it because I guess the, the technology, as, as big as Google is, which I don't get it, it, it should be pretty perfect by now, but it isn't, but no big deal. Um, that's how you set up your recording, um, your voicemail greeting, and that kind of thing. Go over to calls. Now this, um, you can just set your settings, you know, however you want to do it. Um, as you can see, I can say announce caller and let's be, listen to the caller, leave a message, um, ask unknown callers to leave, you know, say, say their name, which I always do, you know, so I can determine whether I want to pick up the phone or not. Um, caller ID, display my Google Voice number. I got both of these, outgoing and incoming, display my Google Voice number. And I just updated this this morning. Um, do not disturb. I, I can enable that if I want to, but I don't, I don't have it enabled. Uh, missed calls. I can place missed calls in an inbox or send missed calls to my email. I don't check either one of those because it just goes to um, my voicemail. You know, that's the way I have it set up. Call options, enable recording. Um, you know, you can just play with these settings yourself. Groups and circles. Now, you can set up different groups like coworkers, friends, family, realtors, and however many other groups you want to set up. It's really up to you. I have everything going MCA. So if you're a coworker, friend, family, um, uh, cohort, whatever, it doesn't really matter. You're going to get my MCA greeting, period, if you call my phone. Because I am focused 100% on MCA and growing my business. So if you don't want to be, you know, hear my voicemail, don't call my number or just hit pound to get past the voicemail. Um, and that's a trick, by the way. If you hear people's voicemails and they have long ones, you don't want to hear it, just hit pound and then you're able, to, it goes right to the beep where you can leave a message. And that's a little trick I learned. This is what I wanted to show you, the call widget. Okay, this allows you to place this, this see this cool little phone widget right here, call me? It allows you to put this on your website. You know, a lot of you have your phone numbers listed there, um, which is great. You want to get contacted. Um, but here's the thing. When I put this widget, which I'll show you how, how to do that, on my website and they click this button, it actually calls me live. Okay? I can either pick up the phone right there, because you'll be able to see who it is, you know, who's calling. Or you can just have them leave their name and then you just have the option of pressing one to actually pick up or just have it go to your voicemail. And, you, and you've you know, set your voicemail up over here, right here, see? Whatever greeting you want to leave, when people, you know, if you don't answer, this is what they're going to hear. That's where you set it up. So this is the code, the, the um, HTML code that you're going to actually copy, control C or whatever it is for Mac. And you're going to place that on your websites. Now. Another thing you want to do is, now I use Get Weekly Paychecks, okay? This is not a promotion for Get Weekly Paychecks, but that's what I use for my marketing, and it does a tremendous job for me. But once you have your Google Voice set up, if whatever marketing system you're using, go over to your personal info page. It's making me log in, which I can do real quick. And go to personal info. Okay, I'll block this stuff out. And this is where you want to put your Google Voice number, okay? So everything that goes out from whatever marketing system you're using, they're going to have your Google Voice number. And if you've set it up already, okay, we're showing you how to do that. You've done all this. And that's what they're going to receive, okay? And that's how that's done. Okay. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be mentioning, man, he hadn't, hadn't had a lead since November 28th. That's not true. I'm using a third-party autoresponder, okay? And once they included GVO in the back office, I immediately switched over to GVO. That's where all my leads are captured, okay? So, over to my website. If you have a website, I, you know, a personal website that you've created, a blog, whatever, um, I'm not sure if you're able to do it with the marketing system that you're using, because I've seen a lot of your websites out there, and you don't have a widget area on the left, right-hand side or the left-hand side, so I don't know. It's, it really has to do with the theme that you're using. Now, I use WordPress. WordPress, again, is a gift from the gods. If you're not using WordPress, I don't know why you're not using WordPress. That's pretty much an industry standard. However, there are a lot of other you know, work themes that you could be using that allows widgets on the left-hand side. So here you can see my widget that I put in here. And how did I get that there? Well, I copied and pasted this code, 
Okay, I have it copied to clipboard. And then what you want to do is go into your dashboard of your website. Okay, and I go into appearances where it says widgets because this is a widget. Okay, so you have to go into the appearance to widgets. Okay, when you pull that up, this is the widget, the sidebar area. So everything you see in this section on the right hand side, that's the widget area. Okay, this is all widgets over there. Okay, and how do you put it in there? Well, what I did was I pulled up my, as you can see, this is the code for my opt-in form right there okay that's the HTML code for this blue form where they can enter their name and their email and actually sign up for MCA if they want to and the code above it is the widget okay that's where I placed it because I had a kind of a blank space there and that's where I decided to put it so this is that's the code that's what you see here that's this code that's highlighted in blue now I just drop down one space and just pasted it in there and I clicked save and I refreshed and now you see it here okay that's how you actually add it into your website now a lot of you if you don't own the marketing system that you're using or the website that you own that you're using I don't know what to tell you um, you maybe want to get your own website have it hosted you know that you pay for it monthly or whatever it's really cheap to do um, GVO I mean you can create 40s websites for under 10 bucks okay if you want more information about that just message me um, so this is what happens when people call me they I mean if they want to call me as you can see right here this is important I want to point this out to you on my website please note I'm a real person and will answer live calls about Motor Club of America Feel free to call me by clicking the call me button on the right, which is this here. I'm 100% committed to your success. Are you? Okay, that's a that's little you know, blurb that I always use. Now, this is what happens when people click this button. Watch this. You're going to hear my phone ring. Actually, you can you know, enter your name that you want to use. That's my cell phone number. And they can, they can either keep their number private by clicking this button or not. And then they click connect. You'll hear my phone ring in the background. If I have it on. Hold on. See, you hear that? So they call me right away and I can decide whether I want to pick up the phone. If I'm not busy, I'm picking up the phone because I want to talk to people and close them, okay? I'll end that. That's how you set up your Google Voice. That's how you add that widget into your website where it shows up here, okay? This is so cool. Now, why is this different from everybody else? It sets you apart, you know? How many people are actually taking live calls? Or at least announced to the world that they are okay and 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 so I'm not surprised that a lot of um, people in MCA call me you know so that's you know I'm, I'm not surprised at that obviously because I have it on my website now I used to have my actual phone number right here until this morning I actually had my actual cell phone number right here same phone number my family reaches me on but I changed it so I did so I didn't have to show it because by putting this widget here okay now I need to clear this out because I because uh, this is just a demo but that's how you do it guys I hope this was very helpful for you if you need any help with anything um, I hold webinars from time to time I have my own conference room I can just invite as many people as I want well 100 people but um, um, I'd be happy to help so this is Matt Rivers signing out and I wish you the best success in MCA and your business and uh, you guys take care talk to you later